Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, the United States' means of winning over allies in the past have had a certain effect. For example, Japan and the Netherlands in the Chip Tripartite Agreement began to curb the shipment of semiconductors to the mainland because of this private agreement. We don't know what kind of promises they reached privately, but in the eyes of many people in the industry, this move is likely to backfire. In addition to the possibility of China's countermeasures at any time, it is also because the United States has always been inconsistent. I never thought that it would come true, because the United States really started to go back on its word. Since Trump took office, he has started to make a big move on tariffs, and he has not been soft on his allies. Even the European Union, a major ally, couldn't help but say, the United States should not focus on the tariffs of its allies, but should focus on China. This seems to be complaining about the United States' attitude towards its allies, but in fact it is diverting contradictions. On the contrary, the Netherlands, as one of the United States' allies, is much more sober than the European Union. According to a report by South Korean media on February 12th, local time, the Netherlands has publicly confronted the United States on the issue of lithography machine shipments and stated that whether to ship EUV lithography mechanisms to China should be decided by the Netherlands itself, not controlled by the United States. The Netherlands did this probably for two reasons, that is, the United States' attitude towards its allies made them panic, and they were afraid that they would be the next to be treated like this. In addition, because of the United States' increasingly domineering attitude towards Chinese semiconductors, there is a trend of comprehensively curbing mainland semiconductor imports of equipment and chips. Under such circumstances, they have to consider ASML's shipment of lithography machines to China. After all, ASML's revenue share in the Chinese market is not small, especially last year. And ASML has threatened that if it affects their own interests, they will move out of the Netherlands. But will China buy into the Netherlands' attitude? In fact, from the attitude of the Netherlands, we can infer that this possibility is very low. The reason for this is that the Netherlands and ASML have been showing goodwill to the Chinese market, but only limited to shipping DUV lithography machines. As for advanced equipment such as EUV lithography, they have no intention of competing with the US's technological control. It should be noted that they had stated last year that they were capable of remotely locking lithography equipment and turning advanced lithography equipment into scrap metal. But now they have directly brought up the issue of EUV lithography shipments. It can be seen that the Netherlands also feels that simply striving for the right to ship DUV lithography can no longer meet the requirements of the Chinese market. So they will bring up EUV lithography. The attitude is here and whether it can succeed is still a key. 
We have to admit that ASML is difficult. They are not unwilling to ship advanced lithography machines to China. On the contrary, they believe that only by shipping to China can they ensure that domestic lithography machines will not quickly surpass them. But they cannot resist the suppression of U.S. technology. The core of lithography is not technology, but tens of thousands of parts supply chains, most of which come from the United States and its allies. In this case, if the United States wants to tear its face, ASML will not be able to ship. But if they can really succeed, I think China is willing to buy it. Although China has been working hard to overcome the shortcomings of lithography machines, it is still not strong enough in terms of advanced lithography machines. And even if domestically produced ones really break through, they cannot meet the huge domestic demand for equipment in a short period of time. Therefore, it is inevitable to introduce EUV lithography machines from ASML. Of course, China can also purchase equipment from Japanese lithography manufacturers to get rid of its dependence on ASML. But Japan's attitude fluctuates from time to time, and relying on Japanese lithography manufacturers is not necessarily a wise decision. So I guess that as long as the Netherlands gets the right to freely ship EUV lithography machines, China may strengthen cooperation with ASML. The United States has wood allies to curb China's semiconductor imports, and the Netherlands has openly opposed the United States' control of lithography machine shipments, but is limited by U.S. technology suppression. China is willing to introduce ASML's EUV lithography machines and seek to get rid of dependence at the same time. If the Netherlands is given the right to ship freely, it may strengthen Sino-Dutch cooperation. In this regard, what do you think of this issue? Feel free to comment, like and share.